Yo, what's good guys? It's uh, Pichos back with another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be changing it up a little. We're not going to do you know, a live cook up like we usually do. But basically what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you something that I feel like a lot of people struggle with. Um, and that is tuning, tuning your 808s to samples. Now, tuning your 808s to, you know, midis, you know, something you make on your own or you get from a midi kit is a lot easier than like a sample because you just have the bass notes already to, you know, line up your 808 with. And it's a lot easier, obviously. And with a sample, you don't have a midi and you don't have bass notes to line your uh, 808 with. So I'm going to show you a strategy I basically came up with for myself and I've been pumping out beats with samples um, and they've been doing well. I've been selling them <laughs> so it, it works. You know samples like don't be ashamed to use samples too like they always help you just use them in your own way. Don't use them in a generic way and you're good you know what I'm saying. So basically I'm just going to show you the beat just a little flex. I'll just show you the main loop. So, you know, this is one of my favorite beats I made in a while probably, so that's why I'm choosing to show it. And it works out because I use a sample from Looperman, Minor To Go. I'm sure you know who Minor To Go is. He's a very well known user on Looperman and uh, he just pumps out hit samples for basically any song, like pop out, you know, pop out, like any song, bro, it's uh, no stylist. Like, I'm pretty sure he did Oh OK by Gunna, like it's crazy, but back to the point, what we're doing is we're learning how to turn our 808s towards a sample. So what I do, this is how you start out, right? So just listen to your sample, right? This is my sample. Take a nice listen to it. Just so your ear adjusts to it, okay? Okay, um, I'm gonna single this out actually. So, what I do next is I listen to it one more time and I try to pick out the bass notes. And that would be the bass notes are the lowest note, obviously, in the sample. So, so you know, I'm just gonna hum it. Mm. That's how I took out of it, you know, that's what I, that just, you know, a bare assessment out of it. So you have that in your mind, now your ears adjusted to the sample. Um, something else you could do, if you want to hear the bass note, even more, is you put a EQ on it, right? You cut out all the highs. So just do this, just do that, like, <laughs> literally just eat the low. So, it's actually a good way to do it. So, what I was humming was right, you can hear it. Exactly what I hummed. And that was just me winging it, following the bass now. Obviously, I already made this beat, but honestly, I was just winging it there, doing it. But, so, obviously that's not the best way to check it because there could be faults in your voice. You know, don't trust anything until you're 100% sure because the last thing you want is an out of tune 808. It's literally the worst thing you can have. I'm like being serious about that. So, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pull up FL keys, right? And basically, is it on? All right. So basically, this is the 808, right? So we're not even gonna look at the, uh, hold up. So ghost notes are off, so no cheating. So we're gonna loop just this. And we're gonna try to find what, no what note we just heard from that EQ, right? 808. No. <laughs> All right, use shift up to uh, pitch it up or down. So we're gonna go up. 
Maybe, but not really. No. Yes, that's perfect. Like, come on. That's perfect. So, from from what we know, when we heard the um, bass notes from the EQ, we can tell that it went down. So it went, mmm, mmm, right? So we're gonna try the next lowest note. Out of tune. Go one more down. That's perfect, right? Um, and you can see how, yeah, never mind, never mind. I'm not trying to overcomplicate things. So we're gonna go the next down. All right, let's try this. Out of tune, right? And we're not even using, we're not using music theory for this. Like, none of this is involving music theory. This is if you don't know any music theory, like, you just have to do this strategy every time. It's gonna take like 10 minutes maybe, but it's worth it. If Because if you get your 808 on key, it's gonna sound dope, right? 808's the most important part of a beat most of the time, right? Bang, right? So from what I remembered, it stayed um, on this note. That sounds good. Actually, it just sounds better just leaving it longer instead of hitting again. Right? Okay, we're gonna copy and paste that over. Usually it just repeats, right? So we're gonna see if that works. So from what I remember from the, um, from when we heard the EQ, let's just listen to the EQ'd version where we just bring out the lows. See, it uh, has variation. So it's not gonna be the um, first four bars. It's gonna be like the first four bars. It's gonna be a little different. So the start of it's gonna be the same. Take off the EQ. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Okay. So remember it raised up. That was the variation compared to this one, right? So we're gonna bring that up. And my guess it's gonna be like either here or the next one. But that's out of tune. We remember it was out of tune here. Forgot about that. Bang. Perfect, right? We got our 808s in tune. So now what you do, you press Alt-V to put the ghost notes back on, right? And you basically just line up your 808s. And look at they're lined up. So you're like wondering, oh, wait, this is not lined up, right? The reason I didn't line it up is because it's in the same scale and it sounds better. It just adds a better touch to it. It's called a step up. And if it sounds out of tune, when you try it, don't do it. Just keep it on the bass note. But if it sounds good, keep it. Like, that's my philosophy. Sometimes I tend to overcomplicate things until I'm like, dude, just, if it sounds good, it sounds good. If it sounds in tune and it sounds good, keep it, right? So let's see how this uh, 808 sounds. see we did another step up here um well this is in tune with the this is in tune with the key with the bass note and i stepped it up and i stepped it up again and that's okay you can do that if it's in key it just adds variation it adds more i don't know it just adds better stuff and that's basically everything you know use your eq use the piano the fl keys and i think you're good bro and we got a sweet 808 we got sound cool right 
sounds cool. And then once you get those bass notes down, you can do more stuff with it, you know? I use these bass notes to create this pad, right? And, you know, you can just build on from your bass notes. Once you got your bass notes down, you can build chords up and just play around with it, right? So um, I really do hope this helps. And uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if this helped. Leave a like if this helped. Comment what I should do next. Comment what you're struggling with, because I'm pretty sure I have a solution to it. Peace.